Thank you for attending the Emmy Lazert Open House. This presentation hopes to help you answer some commonly asked questions regarding pre-enrollment. For example, we'll talk about how to enroll at Emmy Lazert for current EPSB students and for students new to EPSB. We'll talk about who gets in and what that process looks like. We'll talk about what to expect at Emmy Lazert once you get here. We'll also look at high school course progressions and how students move through high school. And finally, we'll have a look at high school graduation. First off, for current Edmonton Public School Board students, parents must use their school zone account, navigating to the Next Year tab to choose their desired school for next year. This function is available only on the parent or guardian account from March 8th until April 15th. So parents, you must be the ones to choose using your account. Students are able to choose whatever school fits their needs prior to April 15th, but may be limited to schools with space available after that time. So make sure that you go on to School Zone, use the Next Year tab, and choose the school that you desire most between the dates of March 8th and April 15th. After you've chosen your next school using school zone the next step will be to ensure that you've submitted the appropriate paperwork and chosen your classes for next year typically emulazert staff are in contact with staff from the following schools to arrange for this process so if you attend one of the schools listed here please know that the paperwork will be sent out by your school administration and teachers and a due date will be given with which to return it. They will help students in their selection of classes and in turning in the paperwork to Emmy Lazert staff. You can expect to find three things come home with you from your junior high. One will be the student expectation and responsibilities form. One will be the FOIP and media consent form. And one will be a teacher recommendation form a place where teachers in junior high are currently recommending which classes students should take to start at Emmy Lazert next year. This is in regards to their four core subjects, English, Math, Social, and Science. And then on that form, you'll also find a place for students to list which option classes they hope to take for next year. To help inform that choice of which classes to actually pick, I encourage you to engage with staff in this online open house today and check out all of the programs that are available here at Emmy Lazert. This will help you make an informed choice and help you choose classes that are um, best suited to your child. All of that information will then come back to Emmy Lazert staff and we will input that information into our computers hoping to schedule your child in the classes that they've chosen for next year. If your child is new to EPSB, the process for them will be a little bit different. You can navigate to this website at epsb.ca to find all the information you need to get enrolled for next year. This is mostly a digital process. They list all the information you need and tell you which documents to submit and what to do. Once you've submitted your electronic application, the receiving school, in this case us at Emmy Lazert, will receive a notification. Once we receive your application, we'll contact you with next steps for choosing classes for next year. We know that this process can sometimes be a little bit stressful and confusing, so please remember that we're here to help you out. You can find a lot of information at emmylazert.com and then going under the Student Services and Registrations tab. Additionally, if you would like to speak to somebody, you can call us at the school at 780-408-9800 and dial extension 3117. We often have a lot of questions from parents and students about who gets into Emulazert. Typically, the answer to that question is rooted in these three points. First off, we accept students who reside in our address boundaries. So we must accept students who live in our area first. To determine whether or not you live in our area, you can go to epsb.ca and find the Find a School Tool app on their website. Simply punch in your address and it will tell you which school you belong to based on your current address. 
Second, if you have a sibling who currently attends ME Lazert and plans to be back for next year, then we also guarantee your enrollment. This is typically a student who's currently enrolled in grade 11 or 12 at Emily Lazert plans to return for next year in grade 11 or 12. We will accept their incoming sibling from junior high. Last, if you're part of a junior high Mandarin bilingual program, we will allow you to continue um, with your Mandarin bilingual education here at Lazert in high school and guarantee your enrollment for that too. In recent history, we've typically had more students apply at ME Lizert than we have space to accommodate. When this happens, the random selection process occurs. What this means is that we've had too many students apply, and we first accept all the students listed in those categories shown. The remaining spots that may exist are then essentially raffled off to all other students who have applied to come to ME Lizert. Sometimes this can be a little bit stressful knowing that you may not get in, but I highly encourage you to make a thoughtful choice about which high school you want to attend and then choose and hope for the best. Please know that if for some reason you don't get in in the random selection process, there's always room for you at the home school in which you reside or at any other Edmonton Public School where there is room. In concluding this how to enroll at ME Lizert portion of the presentation, please consider these dates and deadlines. Remember that new to district applications are now open on epsb.ca. Remember that as of March 8th, school zone opened for parents to go on, look for the next year school indicator and choose ME Lizert for their child for next year. Remember also that this must be done by April 15th. This is especially important for parents who are applying from outside of our address boundaries and who don't meet the sibling or the Mandarin bilingual rules for admission. This is a necessary step to be included in the random selection process if you live outside of our boundaries. So please remember to go on to School Zone and choose Emmy Lazert by 4 p.m. on April 15th.